Thanks for staying with us on News 360. It is now time for Mission. Remember, Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from the UK's Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, as well as the EU. Now, the NPP uh, candidate for Wali Wali, Hajia Larry Babudu, is seeking to change the status of the constituency as one of the leading communities in the rural urban drift. She intends to address the needs of the youth since it is the major reason for their migration. But she can only do so if she defeats NDC's Abdullah Abubakar on December 7. <laughs> a female represented the Waliwali constituency was in the second parliament in 1997 after NDC Susanna Adams won 1996 elections. Hajia Lariba Abudu, after two failed attempts, is the NPP's candidate for the December 7 polls. <laughs> Being a former assembly member and presiding member for Wali Wali, she appears to know all the challenges of the constituency. I understand the needs of the people. They know me, they have trust in me, and they know that if they give me their lot, I will deliver what they are requesting. A lot of women are looking for small scale uh, loans, the mass loan. I will try and help so that you expand it. So women are happy with this message. And the young ones, Time in Memorial in the uh, Wale Wale constituency. Uh, I can't talk about uh, immigration officer here, but today the young man has a lot of their colleagues coming, uh, joining the immigration services, the fire service, the police service, a lot of service, and a lot of the GRA and all this. The employment rate that uh, Nana the Donga Kufadu got, in fact, is making the young man so happy and everybody wants to work with him. She identified failure to address the needs of the youth as the major reason for migration. I have uh, met a lot of them with Northern Development Authority. We have tried to help some of them come back home to do a uh, skill training, like the hairdressing, the shoeing and all those things. But most of them, uh, the problems are, I have finished the hairdressing, I have finished the tailoring, I don't have the machine. So what do we do? But how does she intend to address the growing menace of rural urban drift if elected? Skill training is key because most of our young ones have completed GSS. And then due to maybe financial constraint or something, some of them couldn't continue. So they have to resort to going for Kayaya. And I want to have a, a building where women can come and learn so many trades. And then uh, there's a land that uh, they have earmarked for a place like Swami Magazine. We need to have one here so where we can put everybody there. And then where you can track all this rumors we are going for. Hajja Laribabudu recounted ongoing projects and other interventions as key indicators of her victory on December 7. I can talk of chief compounds. I can talk of a, a small water town system. I can talk of roofs, culverts that we never saw. I can talk of uh, a lot of uh, hospitals around. We have a shea butter factory. So this is a physical infrastructure that the women and men and the young ones are seeing. That is motivating them to vote for the MP. However, the choice is between her and the NPC's candidate, Abdullah Abubakari. The choice of who to vote for in this country has nothing to do with some particular ongoing projects. These are just for mini elections. Let me demonstrate something. Let me put something out there, window shopping, to woodwink the people to vote for me because I will be seen doing something. But in real fact, when you go and check the fact, you realize that so far there hasn't been any impact on the lives of the people with all the rhetoric that we have, we have had over the years. Let's do an assessment of what is going on. The watermelon factory they are talking about. For how long? Because efficiency and effectiveness depends on how much the quality and the speed of whatever you do. I will ask the question, how many people have that employed so far in four years? How many watermelon farmers have produced watermelon and sold to this factory so far? Abdullah Bubakari says his opponent and her party did not do anything for the constituency and will not be endorsed by the electorate. And the John Draman in Hama, we constructed the Walwali Gambaga route. That is visible, everybody is using it. Within the Walwali Township, I led the award 
of the Wali Wali Township rules to contract. And we completed one before we left office. The Tampulungu Wali Wali Market Tampulungu Road was completed at that particular time. How many roads have been constructed in town? I awarded the Zangum Junction to Zangum Road a contractor before I left office the last four years. So far, for four years, relatively compare what they have done in four years to what we were able to do, particularly under my leadership within the eight months, what I was able to, and you see that we are far, far ahead of them in terms of the one month projects. Because there hasn't been a single complete project under this government in four years in this constituency. As former Northern Regional Minister for eight months, Abdullah is confident his record will do the trick. Between March 2016 to December 2016 when we went for the election, we did the Municipal Education Office within that period complete. Within that period, I was able to complete the construction of the Wa'ini Bridge, in which students were losing lives because they were always crossing the stream to access school at the other end of the community. About seven children died in that river. Within that eight months of my administration, we were able to fix the bridge there. If you go to another community here called Takwarayiri, Takwarayiri is just a minutes ride away from Walwala. But because of that stream, people had to maneuver to Tunguri and spend much more time to access Walwala. Today, the people can access Walwala so easily because of that. But I was able to convince the Minister of Roads and Highways for us to award the Shinvoya Pokargu Road on contract. A lot of bridges were being constructed on the way for the road to be fixed. We lost the election, and my brothers, if you have time, go to Pargu and try to access um, uh, Shinvoya. You will notice that the road has become a storm drain, and people are not able to access Shinvoya easily. He accused the ruling NPP for neglect of the needs of the people. If you go to Wumu, where the incumbent MP came from, they had a water project which was using solar. I was able to install a new transformer and extend electricity all the way from the village to the site of the Bohu for them to extend the water to the community. And within that period, we gave the people of Tunguri, Benni, and the neighbor communities a small town water project. Under this government, those projects have stopped, they are no longer functional, and the people are not able to, to, to access the water that we commissioned for them. The leadership of the two parties have also been assessing their chances in the upcoming election. Here, over 51 percent are women, and the women they, they have their own uh, mother. They said, "Is Kamji knows he, he knows how to handle uh, the, the, the women affairs, the way the woman is been working before being a parliamentary candidate. The people are aware of." Her, they loved her, and she the choice of the people. Mansani, what you love for Tanzania, but I'm a clam chanta, but I'm a fuka. If you put up a lie, you will need hundred lies to defend the lie that that single lie you have come up with. Therefore, when Dr. Mahmoud came up with what they had done in their tracking system, they said they had finished the hospital. You say you have been there. Indeed, is it really the case as was pronounced by the vice president? So who wins the Wali Wali seats? We get to find out in 23 days. That's all for Mission this evening. Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation. With funding from the UK's Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office as well as the EU. Thanks for joining us.